Hey crew, welcome back to another Spricasso tutorial. We have a very unique crafty tutorial for you today. Before we get started, I want to remind everyone that the most important step to spray painting is a mask. A good mask. Guys, invest in these masks. This is probably around $20. Uh, I guess it depends on the area where you live. They have nice filters on the side. The paper masks work, guys, but not as good as that. So I recommend one of those. All right. So for today's tutorial, you're going to need a piece of wood. Just, you know, popsicle stick would work. Nothing too fancy. Ah, this, this right here, the metallic finish Rust-Oleum. This is the gold one. This stuff works great. Oh my God, I've used several metallic paints in the past, gold, silver. They don't work as well as this one. Guys, I highly recommend it if you want to do crafty stuff. Get the Rust-Oleum metallic finish. It works awesome. Uh, you're going to need some hot glue. A hot glue gun and one of these this thing right here guys you can find in Hobby Lobby you can find at Walmart well some Walmarts uh, this stuff right here is used you put this in a vase and you put either fake plants or real plants on there and it helps the plant grow uh, they use this a lot in flower shops to put little cards on top so this stuff right here I think I've seen I've seen them for sure at Hobby Lobby but I think I got this one I bought my wife some flowers and the vase where the flowers came in, this thing was inside. And so I took it, I spray painted it gold. And let me show you what that looks like. Look at that. That, that is just neat. I, I really like this, this spray paint. Right here, this little piece of wood. I just had some piece of, pieces of wood laying around. So I took that one and I spray painted it gold too. Yeah, well, you know, I just, I love how metallic it looks. Look at that. Well, heck, let me show you guys this. Look at my nail. <laughs> yeah, I don't wear gloves. So, anyways, stuff works great. And you're going to need an empty can. Yep, just an empty can. I know you guys have hundreds of these laying around. If you're like me, I, I collect them to, so I can do crafty stuff. So I can make flashlights out of them, lamps, uh, night lights. I, I love them. So I use them for everything. So you're, what, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take the label off. Uh, make sure it's empty guys I would puncture a hole at the bottom so that there's no pressure and you're gonna spray paint it gold yeah so you're gonna take this thing right here okay so imagine you sprayed it there you go look at that magic okay so and it has a hole at the bottom see that I put a little piece of uh, 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 like a little piece of what is that paper so that it doesn't get this doesn't drip all over the place once that is dry, you can take that off. I didn't see the need for it. But you want to make sure that there's no pressure in it, guys. See? No. You don't want people messing with this because uh, people are going to come up to it. They're going to see it. They're going to like it. They're probably going to try and pick it up. And you don't want them to accidentally spray their faces. Well, well, just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, you don't want them to spray their faces. So make sure you puncture a hole. Uh, empty it in a, in a trash can in a big I have a big trash can so I just dumped it in there and it'll spray out put a little cloth or something to catch all the paint the remaining paint once you've done this and you spray painted it gold you're gonna take this thing right here and we're gonna hot glue one of our business cards to it so I'll show you guys how that looks all right crew so what I did is I took one of my business cards I put it right on top of there using the hot glue gun I glued one of the ends see this this end is not glued just one of them right here so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this little piece of wood the one that we spray painted gold and we're gonna hot glue it at an angle so it'll look something like this from the side and again you're only gonna want to glue one side of it guys so it's gonna be like 
this. So it's not going to be completely straight. Let's see if I can catch it. It's not going to be completely straight, guys. It's going to have a little angle, just like that. So, uh, 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 I'm trying. Oh, it's hard to get. And then, plus, I'm right handed. So, here we go. Like this. It's going to have a little angle to it so that the cards can go inside. And again, you're only going to want to glue one end, guys. And you're going to want to glue it to the card itself. So, that's going to provide support to this little stick. All right, let's do that. Grab your gun, your hot glue gun, and let's glue it. All right, crew. So what you have is a stand where only one of the legs is hot glued to the card. See that? Only that one. This one's flexible, and you can move it away from the card. Then this little piece of stick is hot glued to the card itself yeah, and to one of the legs. So the card and the leg is what's providing support for this little stick right here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put this here. All right. So you guys have something that looks like that. Uh, it's getting a little fuzzy. There we go. All right. So you guys have something that looks like that. So it's a golden spray can holding one of the back of your... Well, in my case, I really like the logo here. So I put it on the back. And then you put your cards on there. And there you go. That's that's what I would do, guys. That way, people who are watching you spray paint, not only do they get to see your creativity being put down on poster board, but, you know, your card holder as well. So, you know, you can do this in many ways instead of using one of these. Uh, you could also do... Let me show you another alternative to that. All right, crew. So what I went ahead and did, and I took one of these little pieces of wood that we spray painted gold, glued it directly to the can, right here. Then you can put your business cards right on top of that. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? If you wanted to. I mean, and if you're selling a lot and people are just asking for all your business cards, you could glue another one on top of here, right about there. Have two slots for cards. Man, talk about advertisement, right? You put, oh. It's a little hard to do this with one hand, guys. Anyways, you can snap that into place. Let me get, put this right here. And we're into position. Put that into place right there. Get the business cards and then put them right there. Then look at that. Billboard galore, right? Everybody would be wanting your business cards. Anyways, just another little neat idea that you could do. I suppose you could instead, and I'm just going to throw this idea out there, guys. Put this. Oh, let me take it off. Put this, snap it to the bottom here, like this, right? To the bottom of it, and glue your card stand here. But that would be up to you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. It was a lot of fun doing it. Uh, stay tuned. We do several tutorials, not just spray painting, as you can see. The next tutorial that's coming up is really neat. You guys are going to love it because... We got a new sponsor, and this new sponsor makes some really cool, really, really neat uh, aerosol tools that are going to come in handy for creating new techniques. So stay tuned for that. Guys, until next time, keep those cans shaking, and we'll see you guys then.